Hello and welcome to the Fishing Guide Podcast. I'm your host, Brad Weekman, and what we have here is it's, I'm going to say it's media day is what's happening here at uh, at Catch the Fever uh, Media Camp. And so, got media people here, but we have some people that can talk about uh, Sandy Cooper, they can talk about fishing in this area, and so we're going to find out more uh, about that. So, the, the first person is uh, Brian Cope. Right? That's right. And uh, you're with Carolina Sportsman Outdoor Magazine, right? Carolina Sportsman Magazine. Yep. And so tell us a little bit about that magazine, Brian. Well, we cover both Carolinas. We uh, cover hunting and fishing, uh, saltwater and freshwater. So if it happens in the outdoors in the Carolinas, uh, you'll find it in Carolina Sportsman Magazine. And it's a print? Is it print? And yeah. also web? Yeah, we've got a print magazine that comes out every month. And uh, we're also have a big website called carolinasportsman.com. All right. And so uh, tell us, Jeff Dan, well, Jeff, tell us, uh, tell us, uh, Jeff Dennis, tell us about what you do and, and who are you representing today? You got kind of thrown in the mix here. Well, that's quite all right. Um, I write for Trilogy Outdoors magazine. It's a newspaper, and we have uh, covering the hunting, fishing, and lifestyle in the South Carolina low country. And um, we're here at the media camp fishing for primarily crappie, but we did have some bycatch today, stripers and brim and a perch. So we, you know, we, we will catch what's biting, but we're, we're primarily trying to, to talk about crappie. Yeah. So, Brian, tell us, about, tell us about your magazine. Tell us how that works. I, or do you have a lot of columns in there? Where's the information coming? Yeah, we've got nine columns uh, that are written by freelancers. Uh huh. And then we write, write, we run five features a month, wow. which are the longer uh, articles. Um, some of those will be about hunting, some fishing. It just depends on what season we're in. Whatever's in season is what we're writing about. And then we also have fishing hotspots in every magazine. So we're telling you in each month where to go in the Carolinas to catch what fish and how to do it. So is there a cost, a fee? How Are, are these put out at reta uh, retailers? Yeah. Is, how does that work? Yeah, you can find them in retailers. A lot of tackle shops carry them, a lot of grocery stores, um, hardware stores. And we also have a subscription. So it's, it's $20 a year, and uh -huh. we'll send it right to your house. And they come out how often? Every month. Every month? Yep, every month. So that's pretty current then on the fishing reports or yeah, we, kind of the articles. They're kind of situated for, you know, the fall magazines will have more fall products inside there, you know. Yeah, whatever season it is, when you get your magazine, you'll be able to read up and see what you should be doing that month. All right. And then we'll talk about Trilogy Outdoor Magazine. Uh when does that come out? Yeah, we're also a monthly publication, monthly. Yep. and uh, you can it's it's for free though. It's uh, one of those uh, where the advertising pays for the publishing, uh -huh. and uh, you could also see it online at trilogyoutdoorsmedia.com. Where and, did they usually find those in, uh, in bait stores or? That's correct on the on the coast area of the Low Country, so uh -huh. in, in tackle shops, mom and pop stores. Right. Anything to do with outdoors, maybe a gun store, that right. type thing. There you go. And you write a, a column for that, right? I do. I write. A, do you have I, a column or you freelance and have different topics that you cover? Well, I freelance and have different topics, but it's a, it's a regular column in, in that every month I'm called on to do a couple of different stories to fill some, some voids. And uh -huh. uh, in September, it was about early hunting seasons for game birds. And then but the month before that, it was about the end of our offshore fishing season here in South Carolina right. and uh, so on and so forth. And we do have uh, the leeway, if say for Father's Day, just to write some features about fathers and sons hunting. And so right. uh, we do have some, some of that lifestyle to it. Right. And does yours, does your magazine, does it cover hunting too? Or is it just all fishing? Yeah. Uh, hunting and fishing. Oh, yeah. hunting and fishing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we also have a, a bag of buck contest during deer season. That, yeah. Uh, is real popular online, and we put the winners, you know, in the magazine. They win a, a trip for a two day hunting trip for two people um, at Cherokee Run Hunting Lodge. And uh, so 
you know, that that's another big part of what we do in the magazine um, during deer season. Right. So uh, when it comes to what do you think is the most popular topics that you usually uh, it, get covered in your, is it? It's not even close. It's deer. deer it's hunting. deer? Yeah. Deer hunting is the biggest draw? Yeah, that's the biggest draw. And uh, and like I say, it's not even close. So. Really? And you think you write more more hunting articles than well, fishing articles? Probably covering more fishing and fishing tournaments. Oh, all right. Uh, but no, I've written an article for deer hunting for Trilogy regarding how to go to a public land right. and, and navigate a deer hunt, something like that, how to have the best success. So we'll address that. But no, we kind of have um, roots in saltwater fishing. Right. And then when we mm. come to Santee Cooper country to fish the freshwater, you know, that sort of expands our variety and our knowledge and we're talking about live scoping and sometimes that crosses back over to salt water right so this is you know this is all the same stuff though the fishing the lures the tackle you know we're talking about rods reels you know we had to fix a broken reel this morning you know stuff you do that on the fly right and, and so this is fits us to a t yep so talk a little bit more about uh, about the magazine and and kind of how it lays out it People are going through it. Is are they going to flip to one certain section that is always real popular? Is well, we do have a, you know, the columns are are popular. The, uh -huh. We've got one called Santee, the Santee Stringer, oh. which is all about fishing in Santee Cooper Country, which is which is good because we're here. At, yeah, uh, <laughs> so that's in the the magazine every month. So every month you can look and see what you need to be doing on. Um, in Santee Cooper Country, right. and another one of the really popular uh, feature or, um, columns we have is uh, we have a cooking column called "Cooking on the Wild Side," right? And our chef uh, just talks about cooking wild game, and he tries to keep it in season. You know, whatever's in season, that's what he's cooking. So, how'd you end up becoming the editor of mm, of the magazine? Uh, I just. Uh, Started freelancing with the magazine several years ago, uh -huh. and then a position came open for the as web editor, which I applied for and got. and And then when the magazine editor retired a couple of years ago, they asked me if I wanted to take over the magazine as well. So, so I, I did that too. So now I've, I've got the web and the magazine. So, so you gone all every step. You know yeah. what everything. Yeah, yeah. I started, you know, with with all the other guys that are still freelancing with us. You know, I, I was right there with them, competing for spots in the magazine, and right. And uh, so now I'm, I'm. A, we all work together. So there it works you go. Good. good. And Jeff, let's hear the story. What's the background behind you? We hear you're a big blogger. Yeah, yeah. So, so Low Country Outdoors blog's been going since 2009. Uh -huh. What's going on is that I'm eat up with the love for the outdoors. I've been to a lot of uh, professional media organizations, annual um, meetings, and I've learned from others who've been there before me how to apply my craft. And I'd like to think that I'm bringing a certain talent when I take pictures and write stories that I've done this for 10, 20 years now for newspapers, magazines, online columns. It's all sort of congealed. And then when you get a little bit older, that's what you're doing a lot. And so that's right. good. I hope that continues and blessed to be here uh, fishing with this group. Catch the Fever is our main sponsor. We welcome you to town for the first time this year. We were Come. right here at Santee Cooper last year, you know, fishing for crappie. So this is a, something we do regularly, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Yeah, I come rolling in, so this is my first time at Sandy Cooper. I've been to probably every other reservoir that's ever had big bass tournaments. I've, I've probably been there. I've covered it. I've probably done photography work there. but So this is the first time. Huge, enormous reservoir, basically. Two lakes into one. and So it's kind of like uh, Kentucky Lake and Barkley with a canal that connects the two. So that's kind of the, the layout. What's your biggest fish that you've ever caught on Sandy Cooper? You've a, got to go with the best fishermen, the best the best guides on this lake. I'm glad you asked me that question. My, <laughs> my biggest fish on Sandy Cooper is a 76-pound seven, Arkansas blue catfish. Holy cow. And yeah, I caught it um, at, during a media camp, actually. You did? Yeah, I sure did. Wow. Who'd you catch it? Who was your guide that day? Uh, 
Gene, I can't think of Gene's last name. Um, he's passed away since oh. then. But uh, we called Seven, him we six. called him Mean Gene. Mean but he, he wasn't mean at all. He was oh. the nicest guy ever. But uh, seventy six pounds. Yeah, and I there was even a um there was even a TV crew on the boat with me. So. Oh come on! <laughs> so you got the whole thing on film. That's what yeah, everyone yeah, wants, you yeah. know. And you didn't have to take your GoPro. That's right. They probably had great vintage. Yeah. yeah. Jeff, biggest fish here on Sandy Cooper? It would have been at this event last year. I caught the, the biggest crappie of the weekend. I think it was 1.86 pounds, but it, was, it looked wow. pretty good for the social media pictures. Right. Got, got some shares, got some likes, and uh, certainly thrilled me because – um, I was put on that fish by a, a guy named Nick Dowda, uh -huh. and I fished with Nick this morning again, as a matter of fact. So you get to reminisce about those type things, and that, you know, it was windy today. The boat was, the hole was slapping, you know, it was making yeah. noise. The fish were a little finicky. So, you know, you don't always get the nice, nice prize winning fish like that, but uh, that'd right. be my best on St. T. Cooper. All right, sounds good. That takes us up to Tackle Time. Tackle Time is sponsored by Pico Lures. Pico Lures has a complete line of hard and soft baits. Catches everything and every kind of terminal tackle you might need to catch that big catfish or to catch some crappie. Ice scope jig heads are real popular. They're a hard uh, aspirin shape head that, that Mitch is having a hard time keeping stock because they're so popular. Uh, you can check them out, picolures.com. Jeff, if they want to find out more about Trilogy, where would they go? Yeah, well, I also wanted to share that Trilogy Outdoors is also a podcast, so you can okay. find that on our Trilogy Outdoors media website, or we have a Facebook page. And one of our founders is actually um, active duty military, so we have a strong, you know, uh, support for armed forces, and we we don't we don't um, miss a chance to thank them for their service, and we. Uh, you know, we're steadfast on our mission. We're getting ready to do a little makeover on the magazine, change our format, sharpen up our colors. So we're progressing, you know, and uh -huh. that's, a, that's a good thing. All right. And, Brian, if they wanted to find out more about your magazine. Yeah, they can go to carolinasportsman.com. Okay. And they can also go to facebook.com slash carolinasportsmanmag. There you go. There you have it. Like I always like to end the show, make sure you keep your hook sharp and your lures in the water. <laughs>